the complete instructional manual for all INFJs. In previous videos I have attempted to explain what a Myers-Briggs personality type called an INFJ is. However, I have never seen any YouTube, instruction manuals, specifically created for INFJs. Since most INFJs keep saying they, do not feel entirely human, or, Earth is not their home. It's a pretty good bet they are not 100% human and probably extraterrestrial hybrids. With that in mind, here is the survival manual for all INFJs trapped on a planet run by hostile monkeys with weapons of mass destruction. Don't worry. The mothership is coming soon. Your torment will not last forever. And no. I did not create this essay from Chinese fortune-telling cookies. Why do people keep saying that? Let's begin. Do not draw attention to yourself unless a situation, event or circumstance requires your direct assistance. INFJs are natural-born heroes. However, sometimes it's better to simply run away to fight another day. Take no pride in your achievements. Do not seek the praise, adoration or glory from others because all is fleeting. 1000 years from now no one will remember you existed. Trying to change the world is admirable. But rather pointless because you won't be around to enjoy it. Do not seek dominance or control over anyone nor attempt to change them. Some people are just natural born jerks. Get used to it. Live in common cause with the universe and leave unsullied and untouched anything that is beautiful. Stop and smell the flowers. Don't rip them out of the ground. Respect everyone's beliefs even though they may conflict with your own. Show great tolerance and understanding. Do not door slam, nor simply walk away from conversations. Become good listener. However, door slamming telemarketers who keep bothering you is completely acceptable. Do not be afraid of failure. Failure is the greatest teacher of all. Failure brings wisdom and self-understanding. If you have never experienced failure how can you understand what success is? Place everyone's needs above your own. INFJs were born and genetically hardwired to help the poor, confused, lonely, disenfranchised and unwanted. Live up to your birthright. Do not stray from the true path. Enlightenment comes to all INFJs eventually. Hang in there. Things always get better. Sacrifice yourself attempting to save other people without hesitation. Emotionally, psychologically and physically. The greatest attribute of a INFJ is empathic understanding and compassion. Become what you feel. Not what you think. Do not seek revenge, anger and hate to resolve problems. Because you will eventually become that what you despise the the most. Being an INFJ is special but not unique. Find solace away from the things of man. A place which brings you inner peace and refuge during troublesome times. Hiding under your bed doesn't count. You're not the smartest person in the world. Do not pretend to be something which you are not. Never let your ego determine your personality. Define yourself by noble actions and deeds. Look with amazement upon existence. Then look again and laugh. The meaning of life is whatever meaning you give it. Nothing more. Nothing less. Do not weep for the dead. Weep while they are still alive. For the dead feel no sorrow, sadness or remorse. Only the living. Hug as many people as possible in life. For embracing them you acknowledge their worth and importance. Compassion costs nothing. Kindness is its own reward. Avoid those who claim to possess moral, ethical or spiritual values greater than yours. Self-righteous people love themselves, not you. Do not talk about politics or religion while eating dinner with your family. You are guaranteed to get indigestion. Question everything. Take a contradictory option on whatever people believe. If everyone believes something is correct, they are probably wrong. Besides, this attitude really annoys close-minded individuals. The stronger your identity becomes the less you will doubt yourself or the decisions you make. If you have loved someone you will always love them. Regardless of how that relationship ended. If you feel nothing, then you never loved them at all. Imitation may be the highest for a flattery but imitating an INFJ's is just begging for a nervousness breakdown. Be yourself. Luxuriate in your existence. Life is a gift not a curse. Believe in your convictions. A INFJ's first instinct is probably the correct instinct. Unless they are completely drunk. 
There is nothing more amusing than witnessing a INFJ giving advice to people while intoxicated. They make absolutely making no sense and frequently fall asleep while speaking. INFJs think too deeply. They are perfectionists. Understand that perfection is an illusion for those who cannot accept things for what they truly are. INFJs want to solve everyone's problems. This only works with people who acknowledge they have a problem. An INFJ cannot save the world unless the world wants to be saved. Get used to insecure, needy and superficial women because you're going to marry one someday, or her sister. Love with all your heart or do not love at all. Never place conditions upon loving someone. An INFJ sees things for what they truly are and what they might become. When a INFJ speaks listen carefully. They are not stereotyped as having old souls without a reason. INFJs typically avoid large crowds or mass gatherings. They enjoy small groups. Quite places and sincere people. Never, ever, mention the word hypocrite around a orthodox INFJ. Hypocrites are their worst enemies. They despise people who promise one thing yet does another. I have absolutely no idea where this behavior comes from. And don't want to know. Some things in the in the universe should remain unanswered. A INFJ will become a dark INFJ if their coping mechanisms fail or they feel directly threatened. Every INFJ knows the alluring power of the dark side but infrequently submits to evil. Except Darth Vader. An INFJ's brooding nature comes from fighting with inner demons. They are trying to resolve past mistakes or incorrect decisions but cannot. Letting go of the past is rather difficult for INFJ because they become trapped in a cyclical form of thinking commonly referred to as would have, should have, could have. Their regrets follow them close. Arrogance, hubris, and egocentrism should be avoided. These are negative attributes which hinder self-actualization. INFJs fall in love using their brain, not heart. They must trust their heart. Love requires the abandonment logic, pragmatism, and concrete thinking. Thus, a INFJ must learn to become like a reed in the wind. Bending and swaying without complaint to preserve love. Compromise. INFJs typically develop one of these problems in life. Depression, anxiety issues or alienation problems. The good news is these eventually go away. When such psychological issues occur it's almost a rite of passage for a INFJ. This is the reason why INFJs can look into people's soul and understand them. How they can, mystically, heal or absorb another individual's pain and ease suffering. Certain INFJs might not be able to save themselves. But will make every effort to save you personally. Intellectual INFJs are notoriously stubborn yet are equally open-minded. Their greatest pleasure is attempting to solve a mystery or dilemma. It is commonly accepted that all INFJs have a slightly higher IQs than most. But intellectual INFJs care nothing such things. Anything that challenges their intellect gives them a joygasm. They adore the unusual, strange, and unconventional. What others might consider weird they consider amazing. There is a saying about agnostic INFJs. They may not believe in God but God believes in them. And it's probably true. Why? Because certain INFJs frequently develop their own moral, ethical and spiritual belief systems independent of organized religion. Ironically, an INFJ will sometimes quote passages from the Holy Bible, Torah, I Ching, Koran and other religions dogmas if they sense someone needs spiritual guidance. They also have no problem giving other people a spiritual tongue lashing for immoral or dishonest behavior. I have absolutely no idea where this behavior comes from and am terrified to discover the answer. Some things are best left unknown. Popular occupations which INFJs are best suited for are psychologists, psychiatrists, religious ministers, social workers, teachers, political dissidents, writers, historians or park rangers. The list varies greatly based upon the childhood upbringing of a INFJ. My USPS mail carrier is a INFJ. Perhaps that's why he keeps loosely my mail occasionally. Who knows? INFJs do not have magical powers but they can accurately predict the future. INFJs are introverted people. However, when they discover an innate talent for public speaking beware. They won't stop talking until someone drops dead. No self-control whatsoever. 
Despite being broody, distant, mildly arrogant and cold, INFJs are completely adorable people. Similar to Garfield the cat. Once you understand them you and look past their projected facade you will begin to understand why only 1% of people on earth are INFJs. Certain INFJs have, old school, attitudes. Very old school. King Arthur and his knights in shinning armor old school. Should anyone encounter a fully mature INFJ do not question their honor, dignity, faithfulness and courage. It's almost impossible to frighten them in dangerous situations. A more accurate analogy would be this. Four soldiers are in a bomb shelter. Someone throws a hand grenade into the shelter. A INFJ will instinctively jump atop the hand grenade attempting to save fellow soldiers. No questions asked. Older INFJs infrequently second-guess themselves. They know what works and what doesn't work. If INFJs are willing to sacrifice everything for you, you should be willing to help them during troublesome times also. Even if they are aliens. INFJs have been known to stop dating or looking for serious relationships with the opposite sex because it becomes wearisome over time. The rituals of courtship seem pointless and putting on a gleeful mask a waste of important energy. Until an INFJ unexpectedly falls in love again and everything starts over. It's kind of hard to door slam, love. Love comes when you least expect it. INFJs enjoy COVID lockdown. Until they go completely nuts watching Netflix. A minority of INFJs like talk to themselves. Such verbal dialogue is completely normal. It is basically a type of self-affirmation. Expressing thoughts verbally has a powerful influence upon the conscious and subconscious mind. This has nothing to do with a mental illness. Unless you start hearing voices other than your own. At which point you might need to call a Roman Catholic priest or Ghostbusters. Forget everything you understand about INFJs. Everyone's personally changes over time. For example. A 18-year-old child is diagnosed as a INFJ. 20 years later they are retested as a different Maya Briggs personality type. What happened? It's called the maturation process. Growing up. Life experiences change your core personality over time. I'm not entirely sure why a majority of YouTube viewers desire to immune the mannerisms of a INFJ. Perhaps imitation is the highest form of flattery. Who knows? What I do understand is this. If you strongly believe in yourself and can incorporate the positive aspects of what you desire most. You will become what you desire. In previous videos I kept repeating that I never met a INFJ. The truth of the matter was I probably met hundreds. Why? Because I see a little bit of INFJ in everyone. Except that death stare thing which completely freaks me out. I really don't want the next victim of another Hannibal lecture dinner party. Besides. I'm not kosher. Try not to stare. Wear sunglasses. The noblest aspect of human existence is that any given moment, you can change world in yourself. Don't believe me? If 1000 YouTube views saw a video you created. Guess what? You changed the world. If 1 million YouTube viewers saw it. You changed the world. If 500 million YouTube views saw your video, you created an army and should probably invade Canada. Canadians are so laid back they really wouldn't notice. This essay was dedicated to Sarah. Congratulations on being diagnosed as a INFJ. But please remember to define yourself and never let tests or people to define you. You have an amazing life ahead. Enjoy the ride. And remember. A laugh a day keeps something away. I keep forgetting the punchline to that joke. I apologize. Many blessings and stay safe. Thank you for being with us to the end. You can be anywhere in the world now and you chose to stay with us, we truly appreciate it.